In computer programming, a sigil is a symbol affixed to a variable name, showing the variable's data type or scope, usually a prefix, as in $foo, where dollar is the sigil. Sigil, from the Latin sigillum, meaning a little sign, means a sign or image supposedly having magical power. In 1999 Philip Gwynne adopted the term to mean the funny character at the front of a Perl variable. Topic historical context The use of sigils was popularized by the basic programming language. The best known example of a sigil in basic is the dollar sign dollar appended to the names of all strings. Many basic dialects use other sigils like percent to denote integers and floating point numbers and their precision, and sometimes other types as well. Larry Wall adopted shell scripting's use of sigils for his Perl programming language. In Perl, the sigils do not specify fine-grained data types like strings and integers, but the more general categories of scalars using a prefix dollar, arrays using at, hashes using percent, and subroutines using and. Perl 6 introduces secondary sigils, or twiggles, to indicate the scope of variables. Prominent examples of twiggles in Perl 6 include caret, used with self-declared formal parameters placeholder variables, and, used with object attribute accesses i.e., instance variables. In clips, scalar variables are prefixed with a sigil while multifield i.e. a one-level list variables are prefixed with dollar, in common Lisp, special variables with dynamic scope are typically surrounded with asterisk in what is dubbed the earmuff convention. While this is only convention, and not enforced, the language itself adopts the practice e.g., asterisk standard output asterisk. Similarly, some programmers surround constants with plus. In CYCL, variables are prefixed with a sigil. Similarly, constant names are prefixed with hash dollar pronounced hash dollar in elixir, string sigils are provided via the tilde symbol. In mapper aka bis, named variables are prefixed with and suffixed with greater than because strings or character values do not require quotes. In Merck script, identifiers have a dollar sigil, while all variables have a percent prefixed regardless of local or global variables or data type. Binary variables are prefixed by an and. In the mumps programming language, dollar precedes intrinsic function names and special variable names built-in variables for accessing the execution state. $z precedes non-standard intrinsic function names. $$ precedes extrinsic function names. Routines used for procedures, subroutines, functions and global variables database storage are prefixed by a caret caret. The last global variable subtree may be referenced indirectly by a caret and the last subscript. This is referred to as a naked reference. System-wide routines and global variables stored in certain shared databases are prefixed with caret percent. These are referred to as percent routines and percent globals. In Objective C, string literals preceded with at are instances of the object type NSS string or since Clang v3.1, LLVMv4.0, NS number, NS array or NS dictionary. The prefix dash at is also used on the keywords interface, implementation, and end to express the structure of class definitions. Within class declarations and definitions as well, a prefix of is used to indicate member methods and variables, while prefix plus indicates class elements. In the PHP language, which was largely inspired by Perl, dollar precedes any variable name. Names not prefixed by this are considered constants, functions or class names or interface or trait names, which share the same namespace as classes. Pilot uses dollar for buffers, string variables, hash for integer variables, and asterisk for program labels. Python uses a at prefix to denote a decorator. 
In Ruby, ordinary variables lack sigils, but dollar is prefixed to global variables, at is prefixed to instance variables, and at at is prefixed to class variables. Ruby also uses strictly conventional suffix sigils, indicates a predicate method returning usually a Boolean value, and indicates that the method modifies the object it acts on as a side effect. In Scheme, by convention, the names of procedures that always return a Boolean value usually end in Likewise, the names of procedures that store values into parts of previously allocated scheme objects such as pairs, vectors, or strings usually end in. Standard ML uses the prefix sigil on a variable that refers to a type. If the sigil is doubled, it refers to a type for which equality is defined. The character may also appear within or at the end of a variable, in which case it has no special meaning. In transact SQL, at precedes a local variable or parameter name. System variables, known as global variables, are distinguished by a at, at prefix. In Windows PowerShell, which was partly inspired by Unix shells and Perl, variable names are prefixed by the dollar sigil. In XSLT, variables and parameters have a leading dollar sigil on use, although when defined in or with the name attribute, the sigil is not included. Related to XSLT, XQuery uses the dollar sigil form both in definition and in use. In MEL, variable names are prefixed by dollar to distinguish them from functions, commands, and other identifiers. Topic. Similar phenomena Topic. Shell scripting variables In Unix shell scripting and in utilities such as makefiles, the dollar is a unary operator that translates the name of a variable into its contents. While this may seem similar to a sigil, it is properly a unary operator for lexical indirection, similar to the asterisk dereference operator for pointers in C, as noticeable from the fact that the dollar sign is omitted when assigning to a variable. <laughs> Identifier conventions In Fortran, sigils are not used, but all variables starting with the letters i, j, k, l, m and n are integers by default. Fortran documentation refers to this as, "...implicit typing", though explicit typing is always available to allow any variable to be declared with any type. The choice of range i n conforms to traditional mathematical naming conventions. Various programming languages including Prolog, Haskell, Ruby and Go treat identifiers beginning with a capital letter differently from identifiers beginning with a small letter, a practice related to the use of sigils. <laughs> Stropping Actually a form of stropping, the use of many languages in Microsoft's .NET Common Language Infrastructure requires a way to use variables in a different language that may be keywords in a calling language. This is sometimes done by prefixes. In c -sharp, any variable names may be prefixed with at. This is mainly used to allow the use of variable names that would otherwise conflict with keywords. The same is achieved in VB, net by enclosing the name in square brackets, as in end. The at prefix can also be applied to string literals, see literal affixes below. <laughs> Hungarian notation Related to sigils is Hungarian notation, a convention for variable naming that specifies variable type by attaching certain alphabetic prefixes to the variable name. 
Unlike sigils, however, Hungarian notation provides no information to the compiler, as such, explicit types must be redundantly specified for the variables unless using a language with type inference. As most standard compilers do not enforce use of the prefixes, this permits omission and also makes code prone to confusion due to accidental erroneous use. Literal affixes While sigils are applied to names identifiers, similar prefixes and suffixes can be applied to literals, notably integer literals and string literals, specifying either how the literal should be evaluated, or what data type it is. For example, 0x10ULL evaluates to the value 16 as an unsigned long long integer in C++. The 0x prefix indicates hexadecimal, while the suffix ULL indicates unsigned long long. Similarly, prefixes are often used to indicate a raw string, such as R. C Windows in Python, which represents the string with value C Windows as an escaped string, this would be written as C windows as this affects the semantics value of a literal rather than the syntax or semantics of an identifier name this is neither stropping identifier syntax nor a sigil identifier semantics but it is syntactically similar topic <laughs> <laughs> java annotations Compare Java annotations such as at override and at deprecated. Topic: <confusion>, Confusion. In some cases, the same syntax can be used for distinct purposes, which can cause confusion. For example, in C# -sharp, the at Prefix can be used either for stropping to allow reserved words to be used as identifiers, or as a prefix to a literal to indicate a raw string. In this case, neither use is a sigil, as it affects the syntax of identifiers or the semantics of literals, not the semantics of identifiers. Topic. See also. Delimiter Identifier Source code String literal Token Tokenizing Naming convention Programming <laughs>